We will have the next presentation by Gagay Seveni from Hungary. He is, uh, well, one of the leading orthopterists in Hungary, <laughs> I could say. Yes, you are. <laughs> And he's very humble, <laughs> but he will tell us uh, uh, something about another exciting species on Paracalopteinus calopteinoides. Uh, it's uh, really not, not easy for the tongue. The floor is yours. Hello. Thank you, Axel. And first of all, uh, let me uh, say a few words about the co-author of this presentation. Uh, about Barnabas Nagy, who was really a leading orthopterist in Hungary. And uh, I would like to... Uh, ah. This one? Ah. Okay. So I would like to dedicate this uh, presentation uh, in his memory. Uh, he passed away about one and a half years ago, and uh, before we started to prepare this material together. Thank you. Uh, and after, let's see the, that nice species with nice long name. Uh, Balkan pincer grasshopper was described uh, from a locality of the territory in Serbia by Brunner from Vattenville. And uh, after uh, that was described two further subspecies, one uh, Brunneri from Bursa, from Western Anatolia, and another by Fer, by Fer Willemsee from uh, Southern Greece. So the species distribution, as you can see uh, on that map, uh, covers most of the Balkan Peninsula, uh, Western Anatolia, and in the Northwest reaches the Pannonian region as well. Uh, here, at the Northwestern Range border, uh, the species became uh, very rare and uh, localized. In Austria, uh, it was discovered nearly after a century uh, in recent years, and now, uh, according to the recent publications, uh, it is known uh, two uh, populations there. Uh, in Slovakia, in South Slovakia, it is known only uh, in the last two decades, and uh, uh, recently it is known from uh, 11 locations. In Hungary, uh, where the species is known for longer time, uh, it is uh, listed in the Hungarian Red Data Book as actually endangered species. Uh, it is protected uh, since decades, and now is strictly protected in Hungary. Uh, the species is uh, uh, listed uh, in the red list of Carpathian grasshoppers as uh, uh, endangered, and uh, for Hungary and Slovakia as critically endangered. Our aims was to uh, collect all available data uh, on the species distribution for Hungary uh, and uh, get as much new data as possible. The study period covered a very long time, thanks to Barnabas. Uh, by the fieldwork, we uh, documented the locations and uh, some uh, other data on the site. Let's see the distribution of the species. All distribution data uh, shows that the species uh, inhabit uh, the uh, hilly and uh, mountain areas of Hungary, from the middle Transdanubian mountains to the eastern, northeastern mountain ranges of Hungary. The uh, Western uh, part of the uh, occurrence, unfortunately, uh, gone. Uh, according to the, our best knowledge, uh, the species uh, regionally extincted uh, from 
uh, Bakoin Mountains, from Vertesh Hills, and also from Buddha Hills, where it is very nice that uh, the specimen, uh, uh, the only specimen known from Buddha Hills is before the description of the species, <laughs> the only one data. So recently, uh, Paracalopteinus calptonides uh, occurs uh, in the eastern uh, part of former Hungarian distribution. In uh, Visegrad Mountains, uh, we know three recent populations. In Bergen Mountains, a bit north of the, the first place, uh, nearly 20 populations. In Cherhat Hills, uh, seven very tiny, small populations. Uh, in Matra Mountains, also nearly 10 surviving populations, uh, similarly to Buk Mountains and uh, Akhtarek Mountains. So, uh, as we can see, uh, if we uh, compare the formerly uh, known uh, populations uh, with the re recent knowledge, uh, we can see that the population trend is okay or stable or increasing. Yes, but it is unfortunately most probably not, the, not true. If uh, we see the uh, extent of occurrence, uh, the former uh, 1100 uh, square kilometers just halved, the AOO uh, remained nearly the same. So when uh, we consider that we detected uh, nearly 30 local extinctions, we could consider the trends to be rather decreasing. And according to the recent knowledge, uh, the species uh, could be categorized uh, under the IUCN red, red list uh, uh, criteria uh, as endangered. We can see uh, a bit uh, in detail the picture. Uh, in the recent uh, western uh, distribution edge in Visegrad Mountains, the species was known at uh, seven locations and to check uh, the recent uh, distribution, we made a thorough targeted research uh, in this area. We checked uh, more than 160 habitat, seemingly suitable habitat patches uh, to check the presence of the species. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't find it, uh, not in the former known localities, but we finally found three recent populations, but uh, only one of them is not a really small one. Uh, that uh, southern population uh, covers nearly 20 hectares, while the other two small populations cover less than 1,000 square meters. So they are really small ones. In this picture, you can see uh, individual trees, and this is one habitat. A bit uh, north from this place in uh, Bergen Mountains, uh, it was known the species from two localities, and uh, after a similar uh, survey, we found much better picture. We found 17 new populations. Uh, most of them uh, were uh, not uh, so big, but at least uh, between 1,000 square meters and one hectare. 
if we see the habitat requirements of the species in Hungary, we could find that uh, the species inhabits uh, grassland patches uh, uh, between 200 and uh, 900 meters uh, above sea level, uh, with the uh, dominant uh, elevation between four and 600 meters. The exposition uh, of the habitats inhabited by the species was a bit surprise, surprising for us because uh, we expected that it will be uh, prefer the south face slopes and we found that prefers rather uh, southwestern, southeastern slopes and not the real southern ones. Uh, as it is known, uh, Paracaloptenus caloptanaeus uh, lives in Hungary also in relatively short grass, open uh, grasslands with small pot plots of bare grounds and sometimes with stones, as you can see in that picture about an actual habitat. So uh, we concluded that the primary habitats of the species in Hungary uh, are the edificially treeless, uh, so primary, generally small patches of dry, sometimes rocky grasslands. In uh, generally a forested, uh, hilly and mountain uh, landscape. However, we found the species also in sometimes uh, in secondary habitats, human uh, made or human influenced habitats like mountain hayfields, pastures, or even uh, forest trail cuts. Uh, these ones were or are uh, somehow connected uh, with the primary habitats since uh, the species is uh, wingless or short wings with very uh, low ability of uh, movement. The population size is generally uh, very uh, small, very low. Uh, we found most of population with uh, rather tens or sometimes hundreds uh, of specimens. So most of populations has a relatively high local, local extinction risk. The main endangering factors, uh, as we heard about uh, the preview in the previous presentation, uh, mostly uh, are in connection with the habitat quality. The forestry activity uh, is uh, maybe the one of most important ones. Uh, forest planting and cutting uh, forestry activity uh, may uh, disturb and even uh, totally uh, eliminate the suitable habitats. And also spontaneous uh, reforestation and succession may uh, eliminate the habitats. In these uh, two pictures, you can see a place in Matra Mountains. This is, it was in the 60s and now. You can see that the formerly uh, la hand cultivated, uh, partly uh, grazed and mowed grasslands uh, just disappeared and uh, replaced by bush and uh, forest. Another problem is the game. The overpopulated uh, game populations, especially white boar and mufflon, may totally uh, destroy the vegetation. You can see two otherwise seemingly uh, very suitable uh, habitats from Visegrad Mountains, but in one of them nearly without any plants and in the other picture with very few of one. Other problem is the intensification or the abandonment uh, of uh, habitat uh, use. In this picture you can see uh, machinery moved grassland, a former uh, habitat of the species. And I think that uh, I uh, have not uh, explained the human activities, consequences. So 
uh, the future, what are the future prospects? The main task is in the remaining population, the appropriate habitat management to protect that kind of uh, short open grassland from the succession and invasive plants to reduce the game pressure, keep away possibly the forestry activity from that uh, patches. And uh, since that habitat plots uh, are of very low or have no economical value, uh, but often are categorized uh, as forest by the forestry, uh, it is sometimes uh, a problem. Since most inhabited patches are very small, it's uh, very important uh, to maintain uh, their, that places uh, because of the very low uh, ability of uh, recolonization by the species. So finally, uh, these this small populations require uh, special attention and sometimes active conservation measures, but uh, since they are really small patches, it is not often a mission impossible. And finally, uh, I'd like uh, to uh, thank the founding uh, of uh, Buk and Danube Epoi National Park Directorates and uh, the help of uh, colleagues in the fieldwork. And finally, thank you for the attention. Thank you very much. Um, maybe one short question. Yeah. Um, Thomas Zunagratki. Um, this, uh, the population you mentioned in Austria, these two sites are in fact uh, connected together. It's one population. And it was possible to increase the uh, area inhabitable by the species by cutting down a pine forest and turning it into a sheep pasture. So I think this, it, do you think it is possible to, because you know, for, you, you mentioned it, forests are somehow also quite strictly protected, but in this case for this special species, which is also from of European Union, it was possible to, to just cut down the forest. So this might be. <clears throat> most of population uh, occur inside the protected areas. So we have some chance, but it's sometimes not too easy uh, to convince the forestry. <laughs> they like to... Uh, to uh, they love trees. To be, yes. <laughs> Even pine trees. So just be tree on the plot. Yeah. So. Thank you very much. Very interesting. Thank you.